Hello friends, here is Antu. Now I am going to show you how to use sequence generator in my pen. A sequence generator basically a active transformation. It's act as a sequence generator as it is as we have used in Oracle. So this is used basically for creating primary keys, IDs, etc. etc. So for this demonstration. I have created a source and a target and, and database also. In the source, we have employee details, but employee number is not there. And in the target, target is my employee table where this employee number is present. So I have to create this employee ID using a sequence generator. So already imported source uh, first you import source and targets now then go to mapping and drag and drop source and targets here so first go to mapping and create given name now drag and drop source and targets here my source is MPLI. Now here except employee number, all the information will be flow. So connect these ports first. Um, name. Now go to transformation create and then from the drop-down select sequence generator and key and give a name meaningful name click turn so from sequence generator from the next well connect it to employee number now go to sequence generator here port are by default you cannot it add or insert or delete any port these two ports are by default and in the properties tab here one, one attribute is, is there start value this is defining the value from where the sequence generator will start by default it is start from zero then second one is incremented increment value means the difference between two sequence number by default it is one and this is the end value where the sequence generator will end and this is provide the current value at the starting as um, our start value is zero so current value is one and then cycle if we click on this check on this then after ma reaching maximum value it will again start from the start value so we don't need that because it is, it is a use value and uh, if you need you can check this, this and then this is a normal reset means if you want that for each and every run of session sequence generator will start from the given start value then you check this box otherwise if you uncheck this for the first run sessions what will be the last current value that will be stored here and when we rerun the same session the sequence generator will start from that that value continue from that value so we don't need to reset now save it go to workflow designer create a workflow now go to sessions create it for the for your mapping session has been created now connect these two now go to session properties 
I'm looking at him to break the database connection and schema name. Have to write target schema name also in database and make it normal. Click apply. Click OK and save it. Now run this workflow. It is succeeded. Just put in rows and inserted in employee table. Now go to will be check from backend. So I go to workflow. This is my employee. Here we can see that employee ID is 1 to 14 has been created. Now, if you as we have not reset the sequence generator, if we go and check the sequence generator will hold the current value will be changed because it is not refreshed. Refresh. So disconnect the folder once and reconnect it. Now check the sequence data properties. Look, current value is holding now 15. If we reset, if we have checked reset button, and it then it will start from one again. So this is the overall use of sequence generator. If you want more videos go to youtube and log into this channel thanks for watching